Hi, it's Anna Gibbs, and I wanted to share something with you that I thought was really profound. Earlier today, I did a mastermind with the leadership group at the Keller Williams Hudson Valley group of offices, and we focused our mastermind around one of John Maxwell's books, uh, and it is the book Becoming a Person of Influence. And what I love about this book is that it's really a look at how to grow our leadership. And you know, leadership is, is just so important to everything that we do to achieve successful outcomes. Um, you know, we show up as a leader in so many areas of our life. It could be in our work and career, in our own business. It could be within our own families, our relationships. Perhaps we are involved in things with our community or in other civic groups. So leadership is really influence. It's really about how do we connect with people and how do we influence people so that they can also grow and ex experience really great results. So this book will um, take you through some uh, topics on leadership. There's eight chapters. And one of the chapters that really resonated with me today uh, is chapter four. And it is um, the discussion around how a person of influence listens to people. And so listening communicates respect. And when we are actively listening, we are engaged, we are making eye contact, we're slowing down enough to really listen and to be present with the other person. And so when leaders are attentive uh, to the ideas and concerns of their teammates, not only do they generate strong relationships and mutual respect, but they're learning from the people that they're listening to. And that is important because we can't possibly be the most important or the smartest person in the room. So by really con you know, connecting and, and communicating and listening, we're gaining knowledge. And so by hearing what other people have to say, we're getting a perspective and a viewpoint that maybe we wouldn't have any other way. Um, and whether that perspective might be good or bad, positive or negative, um, we need the information to be able to make decisions about where we're going. And so leaders, I think, um, you know, have to realize that it's not just about casting this vision, it's about the people that are going to execute the vision with you. And so if you are connecting and listening to those people around you, not only are you getting the knowledge and building the respect, but it really opens up so much possibility. So I have a question for you, one that you might want to think about and kind of meditate on. Um, and I will uh, say that this might require a little a little honesty too so here's the question what behaviors both conscious and unconscious prevent you from listening and that could be in the workplace it could be at home uh, we often you know find ourselves moving very quickly through the day we have a lot of things on our plate and oftentimes we can be distracted and you know i've heard many times how distractions cause failure so it is really an opportunity to understand the value of slowing down, being present and connecting with that person and listening to what they have to say. Um, because no, nobody likes to feel ignored or dismissed. So there are so many great nuggets in this book, uh, in this book, uh, How to Be a Person of Influence. Uh, and so I encourage you to pick it up. I am a big fan of John Maxwell. And uh, I'm sure there'll be another video or two where we might take another concept and drill it down. All right, well, thanks so much. This, this is Anna Gibbs and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.